Alrighty, hey guys, what's up? Kyle here. Um, oh, some wrestling topics. Uh, this one, um, I'm going to talk about, uh, I'm going to talk about three things here. Um, and that's, uh, Brock, Brock Lesnar, Mark Henry's return, and Austin Anderson and Bobby Roode being tag team champs. Uh, first of all, Brock Lesnar, um, it's been, everyone knows, uh, Brock Lesnar, um, has re-signed a two-year deal, uh, with the WWE, a two-year contract. Um, some people have kind of speculated that he may resign with the company. Um, as 2012 started to come close to a close or to an end. Um, so, it was kind of speculated, but at least for one more year. But for two years, um, good stuff. Um, I don't know what the schedule will be like. It said that the schedule is going to be the same, pretty much like he had uh, in his previous contract uh, back in 2012. Um, you know, work, but working the big four pay-per-views, and it said that WWE are trying to work out some deal to maybe have them appear or show up on one of the uh, smaller uh, pay-per-views that's not included in the big four. But either way, we have Rob Lesnar for two more years. Um, I'm excited about this. Uh, you know, I, I like this. Uh, I would think with them being in two years, even with the limited day schedule, um, I could see Brock Lesnar being WWE champion again. I wouldn't mind seeing that. I think that would be awesome seeing Brock um, back on the back on the top of the mountain uh, one one more time, like The Rock. I mean, if they could do it for The Rock, and The Rock works a limited date schedule, I know they could probably do it with Brock Lesnar. So uh, I wouldn't mind seeing Lesnar as world champ again. Um, my thing is though is that uh, when Brock returns, and even though it's limited date schedules, I want to get the Brock Lesnar back. I used to watch a lot when I was a teenager, and that was the Brock Lesnar back in 03, 04, 02, uh, the wrestling Brock Lesnar. Uh, you know, I, I thought it was cool, you know, um, in 2012 when he came back, he, they had him come as, you know, uh, this ultimate fighter coming off from, from UFC uh, and into a, a fighter coming into the wrestling world, and, you know, this is a different Brock Lesnar. It's not the same Brock Lesnar that left WWE eight years ago. So, I like that concept. I thought the story was good. Um, kind of fizzled out as he started this feud with Triple H, but, um, you know, Brock's going to sign back for two more years, even the limited day schedule. I want the old Brock Lesnar back. I want the, the, the wrestling Brock Lesnar, not the UFC fighter. We saw the UFC version of Brock Lesnar in the WWE world. Now I want Lesnar to go back to his roots uh, and, and wrestle. Uh, that, that's the Brock I fell in love with and became a fan of when I was a, when I was a teenager. That's the Brock Lesnar I want to see again. So, But either way, glad to see Brock back. Um, the second thing we'll talk about, uh, Mark Henry's return. Mark Henry returned this past Monday on Raw. Super excited uh, and glad that, that Henry's back. Uh, my thing is, slap a title on him fast. Because um, I think Mark Henry deserves it. Uh, you know, he was supposed to get a, a, a longer run than what he had uh, when he was world champ last year, or back in late 2011, but he had injuries that had to cut his, his title reign short. But, uh, you know, Mark Henry, he, he looks healthy, looks good. Um, he looks like he's, he's lost a lot of weight um, in the last, you know, 10 months, almost a year he's been gone. It looked like he might have dropped about at least around 70 to 90 pounds. Uh, you know, looking at him on Raw and then on his match against Randy Orton on SmackDown, he, he, he's a little bit more agile, kind of a little bit more light on his feet. Um, just He just looks very refreshed, lost some weight, more agile, and, and a little bit lighter on his feet compared to you know, a year ago um, when, when he was gone. So really glad to see Mark Henry back. Uh, definitely want to see him be a world champion again. Uh, this time around, I would like to ask for him to be a WWE champion. Uh, you know, because the, the, the world title is, is, the, is, the, is the world, is the world the heavyweight championship is the world title of the two that they just kind of give to just, they'll just give to anybody. The WWE title is, is the Holy Grail. That's the belt that very few people uh, can they claim to? And I think Mark Henry just doing seeing a fantastic performance that he did back in 2011 as champ and his rise and seeing him come back and thank God he's still a big monster and they didn't have him turn as a, a baby face. I think Mark Henry deserves that WWE title reign. I like to see him as WWE champ and switch him on the Raw brand. I would love to see that. Uh, but if he wins the world titles again, that'd be fine too. But I would really like to see him go after the WWE title. Um, so. Nothing but great hopes for Mark Henry. Um, I could possibly see, it wouldn't surprise me if they would use Mark Henry later down the line, maybe later this year, 
um, as a stepping stone or a challenge for Ryback. I could see that uh, down the line uh, in the future. Um, that could be Ryback's WrestleMania opponent, Mark Henry. Never know. Um, but anyway, and then the last thing I'm going to talk about is uh, Bobby Roode and Austin Aries tag team, tag team champs this past Thursday. These guys together, pure gold. This is probably one of the best, best ideas that, you know, that TNA has had for, for two characters to bring them together that I've seen in probably a long time. Uh, Bobby Roode and Austin Aries equals pure gold entertainment. I enjoy these guys much, much better than Team Hell No. Team Hell No were kind of funny in the beginning and how, you know, they were brought together. But then after a while with the whole hug it out thing, it ran its course way too fast and WWE burned it out. And it's just like, I just don't want to see Team Hell No on my team, on TV anymore. And I love Dan Ryan, I'm a big fan. But I just don't want to see them together as a team anymore on my television. They're not funny to me anymore. Uh, but Rude and Aries, I mean, these guys, hilarious. I mean, you have Bobby Rude going in and saying how he's the, you know, the longest running champion in that company's history. And then Aries will say, yeah, and I beat you. You know, it's the thing where it's like they really don't like each other. Uh, they kind of tolerate each other uh, because they, 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 they know that, you know, the other guy is talented, so they will kind of, need to use one another to kind of get what they want and get over that hurdle and climb that ladder. But underneath that fine line, they still really don't like each other at all, but they just kind of tolerate each other. So I, I like that interaction uh, between the two. It's hilarious. Hell of a match they had this past Thursday on Impact. I mean, the show itself was great, except for the main event. The main event's a little bit dull, but the rest of the show made up for that. But uh, really good, solid show. Best match of the night. I love how they played it off where... Um, Aries and Rude kind of got into a, uh, an argument, and Rude's like, screw you, I'm out. And I'm thinking, I'm like, oh, God, they're about to get ready to lose. And then just as you think Chavo and Hernandez are about to get ready to win, Bobby Rude pushes Chavo off the uh, third turnbuckle, and they end up coming back. So it was like a little mind game, a trick that they were playing uh, on Chavo and Hernandez as well as the fans. Uh, I thought that was really great booking. It made it even more exciting because, like, okay, he's like, he goes down, like, oh, they're going to lose. And then see Bobby come right back and help him out. Like, oh, they're going to win. And they, they pull the trigger. New tag team champions. Um, I think Bobby and Aries are not only entertaining, but he also has the, the, the great uh, uh, heel factor in both these guys. Now, well, they can talk on the mic. And he has great in ring skills. So, I mean, as a tag team, these guys have a total package right there. I mean, the mic skills, the, 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 the in ring ability, and the, the, the character, it's, it's there. Um, and the chemistry is there. So I think Bobby Roode and Austin Aries can't wait to see what these guys, what TNA does with these guys next. Um, you know, they said like a couple of weeks ago that they're going to go after all the titles in TNA um, except the knockout. So I'm definitely going to uh, sit back and enjoy the ride as they try to capture all the titles within TNA. And I would actually like to see them accomplish that. Um, I think that would be awesome. And then by Aries winning the tag team titles, Aries is now uh, the fifth man in TNA's history to be a Grand Slam champion, uh, following uh, AJ Styles, Kurt Angle, Abyss, and Samoa Joe. So um, I think these guys are pure gold. I'm glad they're the tag team champions because Hernandez and Chavo, they're a decent tag team, but those guys are getting little to just no reaction at all. So they kind of need to get the belts off those guys. I think Aries and Rude are going to be the best tag team we've had in probably a long time in just wrestling, in mainstream wrestling in general. Uh, I think these may be the best tag teams, I think. Um, so, yeah, you guys give me your thoughts on these three uh, subjects. Um, I want to hear your thoughts in the box below. Subscribe. Peace.